so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida! <laughs> yeah! And I can't wait to see what's inside and start playing! Whoa! Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Look where we're at! The Sandy Shack! <laughs> yeah! It's a really big sandbox, and you and I get to go inside! <laughs> but first, we gotta take off our shoes. One, two! <laughs> okay, I'll put these to the side, and we can go inside. Don't forget your bucket! Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's so cool in here! It's really sandy! There's so much sand here, and it's a good thing we have our pail and shovels. Yeah, we have two blue shovels. We can pick up sand. And we have one, two, three different pails. Yeah, this one is the color yellow. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color red. <laughs> yeah, these are really helpful for scooping sand up, whoa, and making a sand castle. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looked like our sand castle didn't stand up, but that's okay. Sometimes when you're trying to make something, it doesn't work on the first time, so you gotta just keep trying. <laughs> whoa, this is pretty cool. Whoa, but do you see these animals? Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? It's kind of hiding in the sand. <laughs> Yeah, this animal is a crab. Ooh, he's feeling a little crabby. <laughs> so silly. Well, this crab is really cool. Hey, do you know how crabs like to move? Uh-huh, yeah, they don't like to walk like us. They like to go side to side. Hey, will you act like a crab with me? <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Let's do a crab walk. <laughs> Moving side to side like a crab is so much fun! <laughs> yeah! But look at this! There's another animal! Whoa! This animal is really big and likes to live on beaches just like a crab in the sand. This, yeah, this guy, he's a sea turtle. Whoa! And look how big his shell is! Whoa! It's bigger than my head! <laughs> Whoa! This is so much fun playing in the sand. Woo, woo, woo. Maybe we can make a sand angel. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing in the sand with you. Ooh. Gotta dust myself off because I'm pretty sandy now. <laughs> Let's go keep exploring. But first, we gotta put our shoes on. Now that we have our shoes on, all we have to do is tie them. Yeah, do you know how to tie your shoes? Yeah, they can be really, really hard tying your shoes. But this is how I like to tie them. So I take my laces, and first I cross them over, and I take one of the laces, and I put it through the center. Yeah, like that. And I pull it tight. Once I've done the first step, then I take the laces, and I make cute little bunny ears. Yeah, just like this. You see my two little bunny ears? Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. And then I take the bunny ears and they give each other a little hug. They wrap around and then I pull that tight too. Okay, this time I'll do it a little faster. Okay, we take our laces, we cross them, and then one lace goes under. Then one bunny ear, two bunny ears. Woo! <laughs> and we cross them. We then wrap that one through, to give it a little hug, and we pull it tight. Whoa, look at that! We tied our shoes. And sometimes I like to do it again to double knot my shoes because I like to dance and I like to run and play. And you don't want to play or dance when your shoes are untied because then you might trip on your shoelace. That wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> well, there's so much more to explore, come on! There are so many cool things here. <laughs> Look at this really big circle. Hello. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this.
at this over here. There are so many cubes. <laughs> Whoa. There are so many different colors on these cubes. Look, we have the color white and the color red. And the color purple and the color blue. <gasps> Wait a minute. If I turn it this way, my two favorite colors, blue and orange. Hey, look over here. There's like a little diorama playset, and there's all kinds of cool animals, like a little piggy. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Woo, he's gonna walk on the bridge. Whoa, and look, there are two sheep. Yeah, one, two. And you know what sound sheep make? Yeah, they go like this. Bah, bah. <laughs> and they're also gonna be on the bridge. Because they're friends with Mr. Piggy. Okay, right there. Whoa, and look at this. There are three animals here. One, two, three. Do you know what kind of animals these are? Yeah, they're little lambs. And they're so cute and tiny. Woo. <laughs> they're gonna hang out near the bridge too. Whoa, and look at this. There are four really big cows. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. Whoa, four really big cows. <laughs> and they're gonna go, they're gonna go in the water. They're taking a little bath because it's really warm out. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. <laughs> so silly. That was really fun, playing with all those foam cubes and seeing about those animals. Hey, look over here. Whoa, and look at this. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yeah, this is called an abacus. Mm -hmm. And it's really good at helping do math or arithmetic. Mm -hmm. Look, you can do it like this. One yellow lemon plus one yellow lemon. Hmm, how many lemons does that make? Yeah, two lemons. Okay, that was pretty easy. But now you can do an even harder one. What about two apples plus three apples? Whoa, that's a lot harder. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa! Two plus three apples is five apples! Whoa! Yeah, abacus is really helpful for counting and math. These are really, really big. There's a watermelon and a pumpkin. <laughs> and the pumpkin's my favorite color, orange. Hmm, I wonder what these are. Whoa! This isn't a watermelon, it's a watermelon drum. Well, that means that the pumpkin's a drum too. Whoa, <laughs> they sounded really cool. Whoa. Those are awesome fruit drums, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at this over here. Whoa, look at all these different fruits and vegetables. Yeah, we have. Lettuce, onion, corn, potato, carrot, whoa, and tomato. Those are so many different kinds. Now, what we can do is play a really fun game where we take all the foods in this basket and we have to match them to the right word. So first, we got some onions. So let's see, one onion, two onion. <laughs> Got it, that was pretty easy. Next, we got two red tomatoes. Ooh, hmm, where should the red tomatoes go? Here? Hmm, here? <laughs> yeah, that's right, we'll put them right over here. Okay, here we go, one, two. Okay, we got a couple more. Whoa, what about this? Wow, there's a lot of things here. Wait a minute, where should we put this lettuce? It says lettuce here, but there are four parts and only two holes. Wait a minute, these are halves. So if you take one half and another half, and you put them together, you get one hole. 
one whole head of lettuce. <laughs> and we have two over here, so one half and one half, one half and one half, two whole heads of lettuce. We'll put them in the holes. One, two. <laughs> and we have two heads of corn. Whoa, and look at this. We have some yummy carrots. <laughs> I love carrots. And so do a lot of animals, like rabbits and horses. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> it looks like I have bunny ears with my carrots. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, we'll put two carrots, one carrot, and two carrots. Hmm, what's left? Oh yeah, a potato! Whoa, look, we got one potato right here, and we have another potato right here. Wait a minute, is this a potato? <laughs> that's not a potato, that's a donut, so silly. <laughs> well, I guess we'll put it in the potato because we only have one potato, but this is not a potato. <laughs> Whoa, we did a really good job matching all the fruit together. Well, there's so much more to explore, come on. <laughs> hey, whoa, I just came out of this really awesome tree house. Hey. Let's explore it a little. Whoa, look at it. This is so big. This tree is enormous. Yeah, look, it's so big that they built a house under the tree, or in the tree, and a house above the tree. Whoa, this is such a cool tree house. I think you and I should go up in it. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. It's so amazing. And look at this. This isn't any treehouse. This is Longo's Cove. And look at this. This is a pirate ship. Whoa, someone put this big pirate ship up in the tree. Hello, pirates. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so excited. Let's climb up. But I have a really good idea. How about you and I count all the steps on our way up? <laughs> Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's some more over here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoa, twelve. We made it up all the stairs. And it was twelve. That was a lot. Whoa, check this out. You know what this is right here? Yeah, this. It's called a spyglass, and this will help us see really far away. Whoa, I can see so far from here. <laughs> and hey, look at this. Can you find these birds? Yeah, there's all different birds over on the wall and hiding in all different places, and we can use the spyglass to see if we can find them. Okay, we want to find an osprey, a roseate spoonbill, a brown pelican, blue herons, sandwich terns, and anhingas. Ooh, that sounds like a really cool bird. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, I'm looking. Whoa, I think I found the anhinga. He's right over there. Whoa, and I see a blue heron. <laughs> hey, right up against the blue wall. And, yeah, look, there's the sandwich tern. Whoa, that was amazing, looking for all those different birds. Hey, do you know where all those birds like to live? <laughs> yeah, they live in a place called an estuary. Whoa, estuary is a really fancy word, but it basically means where the ocean meets a river. Woo, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a fun game. Do you think that an estuary has salty water or Fresh water without any salt. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're all right because it's both salty and fresh. It's kind of, kind of salty. <laughs> yeah. And we call that brackish water. Whoa, that's another big word. <laughs> but it's amazing because all these cool birds and some really cool fish like to live there. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this treehouse is pretty amazing. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Do you see above me? Whoa, it's a captain's wheel. Whoa, I bet this came from the pirate ship. Whoa, 
That is so cool. I wish we could ride a real pirate ship into the ocean. Whoa. Hey, it looks like there's a lot of types of trash in this treehouse. Huh. Yeah. And it says over here, don't pollute. Mm hmm Have you ever heard of recycling? Yeah. It's really good because recycling helps to take care of the animals that live in the ocean and on land. <laughs> yeah. If you ever have trash, make sure it goes in the recycling bin or a trash can and not in the water. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, this treehouse is pretty cool, but I'm gonna see if I can go climb up to the top. I'll see you soon. Whoa! That was so much fun, <laughs> but I'm a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Whoa, hey, I have a really fun idea. How about you and I go up to the pirate ship in Longo's Cove and ride the big yellow slide? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like we've been here before. Okay, we went that way, so now let's go this way. <laughs> This is so cool. Look at this place. <laughs> this treehouse is kind of spooky. Ooh. <laughs> well, I had so much fun with you today exploring the Sandy Shack and Longo's Cove. <laughs> it was so much fun. And now for the very best part, we go down the big yellow slide. Okay, I think I'm ready. On your mark, get set, and go, Blippi. Woo! <laughs> Bye-bye! Woo! Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> wow, I had a really great time playing with you today here at Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we had a really fun time playing in the sand in the sandy shack and climbing all the way to the top of Longo's Cove. Whoa! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Woo! <laughs> okay, here I go. Go, Blippi! at Woodwork Park City. In Utah. Yeah. <laughs> I sure do love winter activities. Me too. It's so fun and it's snowing so much. Ooh, I Whoa. love the snow. It's so much fun. Yeah. Ooh. And I also love winter sports. Oh, I've never tried a winter sport before. Really? No. Well, maybe we could explore some winter sports. Oh, I would love that. And then maybe we could become better, better athletes. athletes. Yeah. And I actually know the perfect place to meet some really good athletes. <gasps> the Winter, Winter Olympics. Olympics. Yes, yeah. that's such a good idea. Yeah. The Olympics are where a bunch of athletes from all over the world come together and compete. Yeah, and millions of people from all over the world watch the games and they cheer on their favorite athletes and their favorite countries and the winners get medals. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And the Winter Olympics are when they do that, but on snow or ice. That's right. Oh, cool. Oh, and I 
want to write everything down so we can remember what we learn on our journey. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. I am so excited to learn so much. Yeah, I bet we're gonna become really good athletes. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, hmm. Ready, Blippi? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Slippery. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, Mika. Blippi. Do you see that? I do. It's a real, real bobsled. Wow. <laughs> it's so much bigger than it seems, yeah. like in pictures. I've never seen one in real life before. Wow, and it's so cool looking. It's the color gray and blue. Yeah, one of your favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Hey, and look down here. What is it? They look like giant blades. Like Something you'd see at the bottom of an ice skate. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, and I actually know what those are called. Those are runners of the bobsled. Runners, ah, wow. cool. Wow. And it looks so fast. Yeah, and how bobsledding works is a team of four for this bobsled <laughs> grab onto it. And then they oh, yeah. sprint really as fast, fast as they can. Really, really and then all of a sudden, they jump in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And once they're in, they're very aerodynamic. Yep. And then they go down the track. Whoa! Whoa! So yeah, watch out a corner. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no, there's another corner for Whoa! Me. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome! Whoa, it's so fun! Whoa! 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 Oh, careful, Flippy! Whoa! All right. Whoa, we're Whoa. almost to the end of the track. Wow, great job. Wow, this is so much fun. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, who are you? I'm Kurt Thomas Savage, and I'm an Olympic bobsledder. An Olympic what? bobsledder? Wow. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah. Ugh. That means you're a really good bobsledder. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Nice to meet you, Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. <laughs> yeah, so you have raced these before in the Olympics? I went to three Olympics. Wow, wow that's really impressive. <laughs> yeah. Did you win any medals? I won two medals. Two medals? I happen to have them with me. <gasps> Whoa, cool. One gold medal. Whoa, wow. check it out, Mika. Cool, that means you got first place. Cool, gold medal. Ooh, and one heavy. silver medal. Whoa. And a silver medal. That means they got second place. Wow, that looks oh. so cool. Yeah, and they are very heavy. Yeah, wow. Whoa. All right, well, here you go. Wow. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, we're actually exploring and we're trying to become better, better athletes. athletes. <laughs> yeah, could you help us? Sure. To be a good bobsledder, you have to be really strong and really fast. Oh, well, I know someone who's really strong and really fast. <laughs> My best friend, Blippi. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <Blippi. laughs> Do you want to give it a shot? <gasps> yeah! What? I would love to go bobsledding! Wow, that's wow. an amazing opportunity! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! How do we get started? Well, to be a good bobsledder, we're going to have to first warm up. Okay. So warm up. we can jog in place a little. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm getting warmer already. Oh, yeah. I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> We're also gonna have to move our bodies by stretching. Okay. okay. So we can stretch this way. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, stretch your legs. Stretch this hey. way. Leg up. Okay. Oh yeah. Stretch this way. Very important to warm up and stretch for every sport. Yep. Stretch this one. And warm up okay. our backs. Okay. okay. And our arms too. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Whoa. So all these ways we're learning to move our body. Whoa. Whoa. Leg, leg, leg. Go, go. <laughs> Okay. Wow. All right. I feel pretty good. Oh, I want to write this down so we can remember how to be really good athletes. Good idea, Mika. Yeah. Can you hold my glove for me? Oh, sure. Thank you. Yeah, writing stuff down is really cool because then you can look at it back at a later time and then you can remember what you learned. Yeah, I do not want to forget. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So, so what did we, we learn? We hmm. need to move our body. Move our body. Yeah. Oh, and stretch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Move our body and stretch. That way we're warmed up. All right, here is awesome. your glove. Thank wow. you, Blippi. <laughs> and oh, I have a stopwatch. I can time you on the bobsled. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Oh, this is so amazing. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so we have our pilot. He's gonna be driving the sled. Then okay. we have the second person sitting, number two. You're gonna be riding number three. <laughs> and I'm gonna be the brakeman in the back. All right. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> but first, you're gonna to have to wear a helmet. Oh, yeah. First things first, safety first. That's right. <laughs> we'll have so much fun, Flippy. I'm gonna tie you and see you at the bottom. All right, see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Should we go see what time we got? Let's go talk to Mika. All right. <laughs> wow. It was so much fun. Whoa, and Whoa. it's so slippery. Hey, Mika. Hey, Whoa. That was amazing. Yeah, it was. What was our time? 49.03 seconds. Whoa, that was so fast. Really fast? How was it? Wow, it was so intense. Just going down the hill, taking a turn this way, Whoa. taking a turn Whoa. that way. Whoa and every muscle in my body was just so tense. Whoa, that sounds really exciting. <laughs> yeah. You did a really great job. Oh, thank you so much. Aww. Yeah, and thanks for teaching me how to bobsled. Yeah, and for teaching us how to be really good athletes. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Now that you've learned about bobsledding, you can watch bobsledding in the Winter Olympics. Whoa, cool. Yeah. We sure will. Yeah, right? we'll definitely watch it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye, Kurt. Thanks again. See ya. Hey, wow. Flippy, we need to remember how to be good athletes. Oh, yeah. Oh, will you hold that for me? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Let's check out what we wrote down earlier. Yeah, look back in the notebook. I definitely learned bobsledding is cool. <laughs> That's right. And it's so fast. I can't believe you did it. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Wrote down. Let's see. Yeah, what did we learn from earlier? Do oh. you remember? Stretch. Oh, yeah. And warm up. Uh-huh. And move up. your body. <laughs> cool. All right, well, maybe we can keep exploring to see how else we can be really good athletes. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's, Let's go. go! Yeah! We made it to a cool looking building. Yep, this is the Utah Olympic Oval. Yeah, and this is where Olympians and potential Olympians come to train. Yeah, hey, Flippy, this will be a great place for us to learn how to be better, better athletes. athletes. Great idea, let's go meet someone. Come on. Wow, Whoa. check it out, Mika, we made it. Yeah, this place is fabulous. Yeah, and Whoa. it's so cold. It is cold. <laughs> Maybe it's because there's ice here. Look, Flippy. Whoa, cool. And it looks like a racetrack. Yeah. You know a track where you see people running really fast around and around the track? Yeah, but this is with ice. Yeah. Oh. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, that was so fast. Did you see that skater? Yeah. There's an oh. ice skater on ice. Wait, I think he was a speed skater. And speed skaters are great athletes. Yeah, really good athletes. Maybe we can meet one later and then we can become better, better athletes. athletes. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> well, let's keep exploring. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, cool. Look at that. It looks like an ice rink. Yeah, you've probably seen a rink like this before. Maybe with some figure skaters Yeah, in there. Ooh, I love figure skating. <laughs> or maybe a hockey player. Oh yeah, you might have seen a hockey game on a rink like this before. Yeah. Huh, I wonder if we could get skates and go on the ice ourselves. Oh, good idea. That sounds like fun. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Oh, hey. Hello. 
Hi. How are you? Great. How are you two? Oh, good. We have a lot of skates here. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of skates. Are you two wanting to skate? Yeah. yeah. Actually, we're trying to become better athletes. Yeah, that's right. Whoa, that is so awesome. Here, let me set you up, okay? Cool. <laughs> we're going to go so fast. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to get my ice. Whoa. I think these will fit you. Thank you. Whoa, cool, Whoa. Mika. And these are great for you. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome. All right, let's go. See ya. See you, thanks. Whoa. All right. So excited. Me too. Whoa. I can't wait to get on the ice. I know. Whoa. I wonder if these are going to keep our feet nice and warm. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> look at this cool skate. Whoa, yeah, and look at the bottom. That's a really sharp blade. I'm not going to touch that. Yeah, don't do that. This will be really great on the ice. Skate, go really smooth, and hopefully not fall down. But <laughs> that might happen. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right. Ooh, these laces are really long. They're really long. Yeah, and they're like shoelaces. But they're skate laces instead. Yeah. OK. Get them on the hooks there. Go. How fast do you think you're going to go, Mika? Oh, I might go pretty Fast. Oh, you might not yeah. even see me all go so fast. <laughs> You're just going to be so blurry. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Here we go. Ooh, and check it out. Yeah, they're nice and silver and shiny looking. Yeah. Whoa, cool. All right. Can it look like a real professional skater? Yeah. I wonder what we're going to learn. I don't know, but I'm excited. Yeah. Feel good? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Okay, Mika, be careful. Okay, I will. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Really slippery. Whoa. Whoa. You have to have really good balance when you're skating on ice. Whoa. Whoa. Watch out. <laughs> All right. Woohoo. Whoa. Nice turn, Blippi. Yeah. Here, yeah, I'm going to try. Whee. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. I can even skate backwards. Whoa, let me see. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Good job. Nice. Yeah. Whoa. Wow! It's really cold out here, too. Yeah, I love how smooth the ice is. Yeah, it just feels like we're floating. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. Whee. Whoa. 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 Come Whoa. check this out, Mika. Hey, it looks this? like a finish line. You're right. I wonder if this is for speed skaters. I bet it is. They race around the track and then... <gasps> Wait, Mika! Did you just see that? That was the fastest skater I've ever seen. I know. Oh, here she comes again. Whoa! Whoa! How does she go that fast? I don't know, but that's definitely a speed skater. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I wonder if she can help us become better athletes. That's a great idea. Yeah. Maybe she'll stop right here and oh, talk to oh, us. I hope so. Oh, okay. She's coming around. She's coming around. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey. Hello. Hello. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. Whoa. Hey. Wow. How Hi. are you? Good. Whoa. What's your name? I'm Kristen Santos. I'm a short track speed skater. Wow. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you guys. Oh, how long have you been speed skating for? I've been speed skating for about 18 years. Wow, wow. that's a long time. Yeah. So were you skating when you were a little kid? Yeah, I started figure skating when I was three, and then I changed to speed skating when I was nine. Wow. wow. We know what figure skating is. Yeah. Yeah, that's when you go like this. Yeah, it's a little dance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice. <laughs> and then, now, she is a speed skater. Yeah, so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. And I really like what you're wearing. It looks like you can go really fast in those clothes. Yeah, so we wear these tight suits so that we can go fast and there's no air resistance. So ah. we're aerodynamic. <sighs> then we wear protective gloves and helmets and glasses. Wow. Oh, speaking of gloves, look Whoa. at those, Miko. Yeah. What is so that? Those are protective? 
Um, so these are so that we can put our hand down on the ice when we go around the corners. Oh. If we're going fast and have to do a tight corner, we put our hand down and it keeps it gliding. Wow, oh, that's so cool. Really cool. Speaking of cool, look at her <gasps> skates. They're, They're so, so long. Yeah, yeah, our skates are 17 inches long. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, much longer than ours, huh, Blippi? Yeah. <laughs> Why are they so long? So these help us get more push off of the ice so we can go faster. Oh, oh cool. neat. <laughs> well, we're actually trying to become really great athletes yes. ourselves. Yeah, maybe you can teach us something about speed skating. Yeah. yeah, so to speed skate, we have to get really low and bring your knees to a 90 degree angle. Okay. And then to do a straightaway push, you're gonna push to the side and it'll bring you forward. Wow. Whoa. Oh, it does feel like you go faster when you're low like that. Yeah. It's so cool when you turn your plate, you can push off. Yeah. Oh, cool. oh. So that's how you do a straightaway. And then to do a corner, you have to be able to do crossovers. Crossovers? crossovers? What's that? Yeah, so that's where we bring our outside leg and we bring it over our inside Whoa. leg to switch them. Oh. <laughs> That's hard, yeah. how do you practice that? Yeah, so we can practice that with a bucket. Bucket, oh. huh. Yeah, so I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay. Okay. Wow! Oh, that was really Do you guys cool. wanna try? I'll try, yeah. sure. All right, <laughs> good luck, Mika. Thanks, Blippi. <laughs> Okay, so I'll put the bucket down, lean onto it, and whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That's really hard. Whoa. Thanks, Blippi. Good job. You wanna try it? Uh, sure, I guess. All right, you got this. Okay, <laughs> so the bucket's used to stabilize? Yeah. All right, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I'm doing it! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That was awesome! That was really good, Blippi! Yeah, oh, that was so you. good, guys! Thank, thank you. you! And now that we know crossovers and how to start, can we take a lap? Oh, yeah! yeah. Alright! So first here, we're gonna do a straightaway push to get into the corner. <laughs> and now at the corner, we're gonna do our crossovers. Okay. Whoa. Good job, guys. Whoa. And now we're back at the straightaway, so we're gonna keep doing those straightaway pushes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and now that we hit the corner again, we're back to the crossovers. Wow, we went Whoa. so fast. That was really fun. Good job, guys. Thank you. I don't know how to stop, really. Whoa. Whoa. Like Good that. Job. Good job, Mika. <laughs> nice, Blippi. Yeah, thank you so much. Good, Good job, guys. You. You're a great teacher. Yeah. And a really good athlete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and since we're trying to become really good athletes ourselves, we're curious, do you have any other tips on how to become a great athlete? Yeah. Yeah, great athletes need to fuel their bodies, right? So I eat really healthy. And to be Ooh. a good athlete, you guys should too. Whoa. Yeah, well, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I am kind of hungry myself. Are yeah, you? Me too, yeah. Well, maybe we should go get something healthy to yeah, eat. Yeah, let's get a healthy snack. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching us how to speed skate. You're yeah. welcome. That'd be a great athlete. Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. I'm going to keep practicing. Cool. Okay. All yeah. right. Good See you, guys. We'll nice you. meeting All right. you. Nice meeting you. Let's watch her for one lap. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. She's going so fast. So fast. Yeah. I wish I could go as fast as her. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe with a lot of practice, someday you oh. will, Mika. Oh, thanks, Blippi. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Whoa! She's amazing! Yeah! Shall we go get something healthy to eat? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go! <laughs> so much fun learning how to speed skate. Yeah, what a fun day. And Kristen went so fast. Yeah, 
way faster than we went. Yeah, we need to practice a lot. Yeah, we do. You did a really good job, Flippy. Oh, you did too, Mika. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Oh, and remember what Kristen said about being a good athlete? Yeah, she said to refuel your body with healthy food. Yeah, and I have some healthy snacks right here. You do? Yeah, check it out. Yum. <laughs> Ooh, what's in here? Whoa, cool, half of a banana. Yep. Which is a fruit. Yep, <laughs> and I also have some apple slices. Ooh, which are also a fruit. Yep, and broccoli and carrots, and those are vegetables. Yum, <laughs> what are you gonna try? Mm, I'm gonna have a carrot. Ooh, I'm gonna try some banana. All mm. right, eat up. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How is it? Mmm. Really yummy mm. and healthy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I also have some water. You do? Yep. Oh, thanks, Mika. You're well, welcome. You come very prepared. I try. Yeah, it's very important to stay hydrated when you're doing active things. Yep. Good job. Mm. Ah, yum. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel water. better already. Yeah, me too. Well, we sure did learn a lot today on how to be great athletes. We really did. We're getting a lot of good tips. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I should write it down in the notebook so we don't forget. Oh, great idea. Okay. Well, what did we just learn? Okay, Kristen said to be a good athlete, we should... Refuel our bodies. Yes, fuel our bodies... With healthy food. With healthy food. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, awesome. Well, should we keep exploring so then we can figure out how we can keep becoming better, better athletes? Yes, yeah. we should. Okay, ready? Yep. Let's, Let's go! go. Whoa, so cool! We made it to a snowy mountain! Yeah, this is Park City Mountain! Yeah, it's the largest <laughs> ski resort in the United States! Yep, that's so cool! Yeah! <laughs> and speaking of cool, Whoa. we have snow! Yeah! Maybe if we meet one of these athletes, they can teach us how to be a better athlete. Oh, that's such a great idea, Blippi. Wow, wow, I can't wait to learn how to be a great athlete. Oh, hey. Did you see that? That was so <laughs> cool. Wow. Hey, you two. My name is Mike Schultz, Monster Mike. I'm Whoa. a Paralympic gold medalist snowboarder. Wow. wow. Nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Yeah, hi, I'm Mika. Yeah. Hey, so great to meet you. What are the Paralympics? So the Paralympic Games are just like the Olympics, only it's for athletes with different physical disabilities. Oh, cool. I'm a left leg amputee. I'm missing wow. my leg from the knee down. So I've got a robot leg. Whoa, Whoa that's cool. very cool. <laughs> wow. So I actually built this after I got into a snowmobile racing accident so wow. I could continue in all the sports I love, like dirt bikes, snowmobiles, and snowboarding. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, and you said you won a gold medal? Yeah, that must mean you're very good at snowboarding. Yes, I've got lots of time on my snowboard and I have compete all over the world with other athletes with disabilities. And uh, it's a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of work. Uh, we practice all the time. We have to train both our, our physical side and our mental side. Wow. wow! Cool! Well, we are trying to become better athletes, and so I'm thinking you could help us. Yeah, do you mind? That sounds like a great plan. I can show you some tips on a snowboard. Yes! yes. Are you guys ready, or you need a few things yet? Uh, uh, we need yeah. some things. Yeah, it looks like you're missing your snowboard and boots yeah. and a yeah. helmet. So yeah. go head down to the rental shop. OK. Yeah, get yourself snowboard boots and a helmet. Meet me back up here and we'll do some snowboarding. Great. Good. See you soon. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, yeah, we made it to the rental shop. Yes, this is a great place to get fitted so we can go snowboarding. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Me too. Let's go. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow, this place is awesome. Yeah, whoa. <gasps> Oh, cool, skis! Yeah, and there's 
so many of them and colorful. Oh yeah, like this one is yellow. Yep, and this one is orange. Oh, and this one is blue. Ooh. Oh, cool. Hey, and look at all these helmets, Blippi, so you can stay nice and safe. Oh, cool. I wonder if we're gonna get a helmet for snowboarding. Oh, I bet we will. Yeah, I <laughs> love being safe. Me too. Ooh. All right, check this out. Whoa, what's Whoa. in here? Oh! Wow, snowboards! Whoa, cool! And did you notice the skis? There's two skis, mm -hmm. one for each foot. Right, so and there's the, two. Yeah, and with the snowboard, it's just one board for your two feet. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, shall we go get fitted? Yeah, I can't wait. Oh, oh, hey, how are you? Hi, guys. I'm Jess. Welcome to Park City. Thank oh, you. Thanks for having us. Are you guys wanting to ski today or snowboard? Snowboard. Oh, that's so fun. Why don't we get you set up with some equipment? Okay. Right. Follow me right over here. Okay. Wow. Okay. Whoa, cool. All right. All right. I'm going to send the rental tech right over. So if you want to take a seat, we'll get you all geared up for the day. All right. Thank, thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Wow. I am so excited. I know, it feels so official. About to get fitted to snowboard. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Oh, oh nice. good. How are you? Good. What's your name? I'm Jonathan. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Flippy. Hi, Jonathan. I'm Mika. So, what do you do here? I'm a rental tech. I'll be putting together your snowboards for you. Oh, oh cool. cool. <laughs> we are very excited and we're ready. We're so ready. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Boards. Yeah, I like the colors. Yeah. Whoa. Are these the boots? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. So you got some gear with you. Yeah, what are you doing? Well, so I'm adjusting the air pressure with this little air pump. Wow. Oh, cool. So I can hit some big jumps. Whoa. Huh? Awesome. Neato, huh? All right. So I guess we're going to start off. Have either of you snowboarded before? Nope. I have. All right. <laughs> Very good. So you know the basics. Yep. So you're starting from scratch. Yep. All right. Well, this is going to be fun. All right. I think so. <laughs> so rule number one with snowboards, when you put them down on the ground, you want to set them down on the bindings. Because what happens if you set them down like this and you're on a hill? Oh, do you slip and slide? Bye -bye. Yeah. yeah, you're chasing after your snowboard. Oh, no. OK. What side do you kick a soccer ball with, right or left? Um, uh, My right. All right. So that likely means you're going to be called regular foot. There's regular foot and goofy foot. And the difference goofy between foot. those, yeah. <laughs> goofy, it's kind of goofy. Yeah, you know what's funny? <laughs> I'm goofy foot. I knew it. <laughs> All right, so that regular foot means you're going to put your left foot downhill first when you're okay. riding. So now I'm going to have you put your other foot, your right foot, right here. OK. And I want you to grab my hand. I want you to scoot back and forth a little bit, just, just a little bit, just a little wow. wiggle. See how slippery that is? It's really slippery. <laughs> How you doing over there, Blippi? You're oh, ready to rock and roll, aren't you? So <laughs> I'm <good>. ready. <laughs> so then I want you to do that same scooch back and forth. Trill scooch, scooch, scooch. Ooh, it's like I'm dancing. A little more, a little more, a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's going to do great. Yeah, you are. Wow, I'll tell you what, fun. the most important thing, like I said before, is knowing how to stop. Yeah, and that's important. Have you ever watched snowboarding before? Yes. What do they do when they stop? Uh, I don't know. 
They go sideways. <laughs> oh, that's sideways right. Sideways down the hill and they don't dig their heels in. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a snow plow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bend your knees a little bit. Yeah, Mika. Okay, release that edge. Let it slide Woo! forward. Okay, heels. There you go. Okay. Right? So that's how you stop. You dig your heels in. Cool. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, he's good, isn't he? Yeah, he knows yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, whoa. So now the next step is to go on your toe side. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate your tip down that way okay. and swoop around me. Woo! There you go. Go sideways. Whoa! Whoa! Toe That's tip. tricky, isn't it? That is tricky. Let's try it again. Let's let's try and slide just a little bit farther. Okay. Toes your heels. Toes. Whoa. There you go. That is tricky. Now what I want you to do is, is slide nice and smooth sideways. Okay. Bend your knees a little bit. Slide, slide, slide. Whoa. Take your toes in. There you go. Whoa, I'm taking you with me. High five. Yeah, thanks. That was good. Yeah, me go. Go. Whoa. So that's the first step. Whoa. Are we taking them off to go up? We got, I gotta go get my snowboard. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. All right, high five. Thank you so much. Good job, Mika. Nice, nice Whoa, work. Good job, Blissy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Whoa. Yeah. Well, that was really fun. Yeah, you did a really good job, Mika. Oh, thanks, Blippi. Well, that's a super high five for the first lesson. Yeah, that's thank excellent. you. Thanks for teaching me. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow, I see how you have to practice a lot to be a good athlete. Yeah, and you must practice a lot. Oh, absolutely. My teammates and I, we practice all the time on the snow, in the gym, and even in the classroom. We're watching videos and learning what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. And so wow. we're non-stop learning. Wow, yeah. cool. Well, before any of the big competitions, do you get nervous? Oh, absolutely. I get I get nervous a lot. And the best way I deal with it is I try and calm my mind. I take three deep breaths. And then I think about what I'm about to do and I visualize exactly what I want to do. Wow. Oh, that's some really good advice. Yeah, it yeah, is. Practicing and focusing and calming your mind. Yeah. Absolutely. That was a great lesson. Thank yeah. you so much for teaching Mika how to snowboard. Yeah, oh, that's, that's so much fun. Another high five. I oh, love high yeah, five. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to strap in my board. I'm going to go make some runs, meet up with my teammates. OK. Cool. And I'm going to see you guys on the slopes sometime in the future, huh? Oh, cool. Cool. All right. Yeah. Thanks again. Yeah, well, you guys fun. have fun. All right. Wow. That was awesome. I thought you did such a good job, Thanks, Mika. Wow. We definitely have to do this again sometime. Yeah. So much fun being on the snowy mountains. Yeah. Wow, and all the snow. It's beautiful here. Yeah. And it just seemed like you were going so fast, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I know how to stop now. Yeah. <laughs> see you later, Alexander. All right. Bye. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> I do not want to forget what we learned about how to become better athletes. Oh, yeah! Let's write, write it down. down. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Can we hold these for me? Sure. Thank no you. No problem. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's get the notebook out here. Okay, so today we learn. Hmm. Let's see. Well, he does practice a lot. Practice, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, calm your mind. Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. Oh! And remember, he takes three deep breaths. Yeah, so to breathe. breathe. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I think we have everything we need to become better athletes. athletes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. Wow. wow. <laughs> cool. That was so fun. Yeah, it was. It was so much fun learning how to become Better athletes! Yeah, yeah, we got to check out some new sports today. Yeah, oh yeah, you wrote down a lot of things that we learned. Yeah, we learned things when we were in bobsledding. Ooh, speed skating. Yeah, and snowboarding. 
Yeah. Yeah, those athletes were so talented and very smart. Yeah, they were. Okay, let's see what they told us. Um, oh, we need to warm, warm up. up. Move our bodies. Yeah, and stretch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and remember, we need to fuel our bodies with healthy, healthy food. food. Yeah, I love healthy food. Me too. <laughs> and we need to calm our minds. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to breathe. <sighs> yeah, that wow. feels nice. <laughs> yeah, it does. Wow. That was so much fun learning about the Winter Olympics. Yeah, the Winter Olympics are awesome. <laughs> yeah, they are. And it was so much fun learning how to become better, better athletes. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yep. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy, nice. good job! Oh, will you spell my name with us? Cool! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika! <laughs> All right, see you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> Wait, Mika, did you notice how all of those athletes seemed like they were having fun? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should ride our inner oh. tubes down this big hill! Yeah, that's a great idea! Yeah, let's have some fun! <laughs> all right, let's go! <laughs> Whoa, let's do it! <laughs> oh, all right! All right, here you go! Ooh. Okay, perfect. like this? Yeah, perfect, and hold on! Ready? Okay! Uh, 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 here we go! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. I'm going to take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather <laughs> or a rock? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? 
Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Okay. All right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah. This one is an apple. And this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah. The feathers were so big. And then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty. Whoa. Light! <laughs> wow. See? Even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah. You're right! Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. <laughs> put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute. Okay, all right, now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Oh, well, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys. Yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense because they're actually going to be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size, yeah. Because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect, all right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay, all right, one quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and, what? Perfect, okay. 
Okay. Oh, got to set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay, got to use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. All right. Okay, now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? nice and organized be sure to clean up all right now let me tie this okay so we use the same amount of volume one quarter cup of rice one quarter cup of water okay, now we get to do the fun part we get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense which one is heavier ready The blue was rice. Whoa. Rice is more dense than water. Whoa. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah. Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Most anything Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer Rain. They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Roll, roll on, bulldozer. Better move over, here comes the it's bulldozer. It's a machine. Ring, ring. <laughs> right, put in the box. Here we go. Go to the other side. Dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, 
Those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. Hello, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at PD Bakery in Seattle, Washington. Whoa, look at this place. Whoa, it's so cool. Yeah, we're in the back. Yeah, this is called a kitchen. Oh, and look at what it is. Wow, look at it. <laughs> wow, this is an apron. Ooh, check it out. Look at those flowers. Yeah. This apron is going to help keep me nice and clean when I bake. Yep, I sure ate a lot of vegetables today. Yep, and now that I ate a bunch of healthy food, we can have something yummy and sweet. I am so excited. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, look at this place. Whoa, there's so many cool things. Yeah, like a measuring cup. Yeah, you can put things in there and then know how much of an ingredient you have exactly in this measuring cup. Whoa, or a giant spoon. Whoa, you can stir a lot of stuff with that. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Yeah, a spatula. Boing, <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, let's set it right there for now. Whoa, looks like we have some vinegar. Yum. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, come on. Whoa, a giant sink. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> this is where I clean a lot of dishes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, speaking of cleaning dishes. Whoa, hello. Look, this is a dishwasher. You put a lot of dirty dishes right here and then you close it down. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. This is a stove top. Whoa, you can cook so much food right here. Whoa, there's so many stove tops. Whoa, do you see the little fire right there? Yeah, this is not a toy. You need to be very careful when you're cooking. <laughs> Macarons, and they look so yummy. Look at this one. This one is the color red. Whoa, looks like we have some green and some blue and some orange. Whoa, look, I'll grab an orange and a blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. Ah, oh, I'll eat these later. <laughs> Whoa. We have some black sesame cookies, yum! Woo! And some ube cookies, yum! Check these out. Open these up. Wow, what color is that? Yeah, the color purple. Yeah, there's no food coloring in this. That, yeah, that is the color of the food that was added into this cookie. That's so cool. <laughs> Okay, we'll put that right there for me to eat later. <laughs> oh, look at these cute things. Looks like, what animal is that? Yeah. Moo. Moo. Yeah, a cow. Ooh, a vanilla cake. Yeah, flippy party cake. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Yeah! And a triple chocolate cake. That looks so yummy! Well, hey, maybe you and I can cook and bake some of this. Yeah, how about today we make some macarons? 
Yeah! Whoa, check it out. I'm washing my hands and I'm scrubbing them for 20 seconds. Yeah, do you know how long 20 seconds is? Yeah, it's about the same length as when you sing the ABCs. Will you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's rinse them all off. Oh, nice and clean now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Shut off the water. Oh, wow. And now I'm ready to make some delicious treats. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm the baker for Fanny Bakery. Whoa, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Are these the ingredients? Yeah, these are some ingredients for some macarons. Ooh, well, what do we have here? Well, first we have eggs, and we have almond flour, we have sugar, and we have an important ingredient called salt. And when you eat it, it's really salty, but when you put it in desserts, it actually makes it sweeter and tastier. Ooh, that sounds so yummy! And you said almond flour. Why are we using that rather than all-purpose flour? So almond flour is special because when you put it in macarons, it makes it less sticky than flour and makes it really light. Wow, that is so cool. Well, hey, do you mind if I mix all these ingredients? Yeah, how about you throw all the ingredients into a bowl and throw it into the mixer, and I'll go get the oven ready. Okay. Woohoo! All right, let's mix all the ingredients together, and then we'll put it in the mixer. <laughs> all right. First, let's uh, add the salt. Perfect. And then we'll add the sugar. And then the almond flour. Whoa! Hey, check it out! A small bowl, medium, and large! <laughs> there we go. Perfect! <laughs> and for the eggs. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I probably have to break them open. All right, here we go! <laughs> now, I'm gonna go put it in the mixer. Yeah! Whoa. Hey, check it out! This is a massive mixing machine! Whoa! Look how big it is! There's a giant whisk right here. Wow! Looks like there's a green on button, a red stop button, and a big bowl for me to add all the ingredients. Alright, here we go! Pour it in. Looks like we already made some earlier. Yeah, this is gonna be a big batch. <laughs> all right, now that all the ingredients are in there, we need to make sure that the cover is closed. We need to raise up the bowl. There we go. And now we need to turn this to the on position. There we go. And we'll push the green start button in three, Two, one, yeah! Look at it mix! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! The batter is finished! Whoa! This is a big bowl! Okay, the next step that we need to do, yeah, is take some of this batter and put it inside these piping bags. Yeah, what shape is this piping bag? Oh, yeah, it looks like a triangle. Perfect. And do you see how you open it up? Yeah, and that's where you put all the batter. But hey, check it out. Yeah, we have some batter already in a piping bag. Woohoohoo! <laughs> okay, Jennifer, now that we have the batter in the piping bags, what do we do now? Well, first we need to cut the bag. Okay. Okay. And Perfect. we're going to make some 
cacao macaron. Ooh. So to do that, first, you're going to need one big circle. Okay. We're going to make cacao macarons. And we need a big circle for, is that the head? That's going to be the head, yeah. Okay. And then we need two small circles on the top for its ears. Okay. That is not how I want that. <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah, the head and then two ears. Here, let me try. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's just like that. And then one ear, two ears. <laughs> Perfect. That's going to be one great cow. <laughs> okay, do we fill it up now? Yeah, let's fill up the whole pan. All right, let's do it. So much fun! <laughs> yeah, now that we're done, why don't you throw them into the oven for 20 minutes and I'll get the buttercream ready. Okay. Alright, so I need to throw these in the oven for 20 minutes. Whoa! Alright, so I'm gonna put on these safety gloves. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Wow. I used my safety gloves. Because ovens are not a toy. You need to be very careful. Okay, what did Jennifer say? She said 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. But wait, but wait a second. You know what I like to do when I wait? Yeah, I like to dance. Woohoo! means that they're probably done. <laughs> yeah! Let's open it up and then see the macarons. <laughs> Whoa! Woohoo! That is hot! Woo! And they look so yummy! Wow! Check it out! Now it's time to decorate. looks like so much fun. Hey, can I try? Sure, Flippy. Go ahead and give it a try. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, looks like we have three colors here. We have black, and then uh, looks like we have white, and then looks like we have the color pink. Let's see. What are we making? Oh, yeah. Remember these from earlier? Yeah, a cow. A cute cow. Moo. Yeah, it has two eyes, has two ears, has some spots, and a really cute nose. <laughs> okay, let's put that down right here. I'm gonna start with the black. All right, looks like we'll do two eyes. And we need to do the spots. Cute little hair thing on top. <laughs> okay, so now let me move to the color pink. <laughs> All right, looks like pink. We put it on the ears, and it's the base for the nose. Last but not least, the color white. <laughs> and we just put a little, uh oh, I put a little too much, but that's okay. There we go. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah, does that look like a cow? No! No! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. <laughs> All right, let's keep on decorating. Whoa, 
Oh, check it out! Yeah, a blippy party cake! Yum! <laughs> Whoa, what are these? Yeah, macarons! Yum! They're so tasty! What is this, though? Yeah, does it look like my bow tie? Yeah, it's an orange blippy macaron bow tie! And it looks so tasty, doesn't it? Yeah! Well, hey, check this out! I have two things of icing. My two favorite colors, blue and orange. And check it out. I have a flippy macaron that's empty, no colors at all. So maybe, just maybe, we can use some of this icing to decorate it. So my normal bow tie is orange, but I'm actually gonna use some blue too. So let's just squirt some out. Whoa, that looks cool. Let's do a big dot there. Do a big dot there. How about one right there? Oh, and one way over there. Whoa, that doesn't look like my bow tie, does it? No, that's okay though. Sometimes when you're being creative, yeah, actually all the times when you're being creative, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, like this. Woohoo! Check it out! Whoa! Yum! Doesn't that look tasty? Yum! And hey, watch this. I'm gonna do another big blob. Yeah, a blue. Oh, I will just finish that all the way across there. And then I'll put some orange on top of that. Wow! Now. Does that look tasty? Or does that look tasty? Yum! <laughs>
Ah, <sighs> once upon a time, there was a, a large and colorful zoo <laughs> with so many animals different from me and you. <laughs> Some were big, <sighs> others, <sighs> others small. <laughs> Some, someone squawk. <laughs> someone squawk. <laughs> some, <gasps> some, some went. Whoa. Check it out, an animal. Wow. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Bora. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Flippy. What I'm do you Flippy. do here? I work with the animals here. I'm a wildlife care specialist. And these are some of our animal ambassadors here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Wow, cool. And I know what kind of animal this is. This is a porcupine, right? Yes, this is an African crested porcupine. You can oh. see her crest right over her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Hello. And what's her name? Her name is Quilma. Oh, Quilma. Oh, maybe because it has a lot of quills? Yeah. Oh, really cool. They look really sharp. What are they made out of? These quills are actually made up of keratin, just like our hair and our fingernails. Oh, wow. Well, my hair isn't sharp like these, but I guess if they become very dense, then your hair and nails can be really sharp like these. Wow, what is she eating? So Quilma's eating some biscuits because mm. she has really sharp teeth uh -huh. and her teeth are always growing. So she eats a biscuit and it helps her to keep her teeth kind of a little bit shorter. Oh, that makes sense. So you and I, when we grow our teeth, they stop and then they're the size that they are. But Quilma, her teeth keep growing and growing and growing. And so she needs to eat things to trim them down to stay nice and short. Oh, she has some cute ears. Hey, Quilma. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and looks like the quills are white and black. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of predators in Africa, so Quilma has to protect herself. So when she feels frightened, she can lift up all of those quills, and she looks a lot bigger than she actually is. Oh, wow. Cool defensive mechanism. Hey, and does she shoot out her quills? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think she shoots her quills, but she doesn't. That'd be like us shooting our hair right off of our head. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enjoy your snack. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, cool. Another animal. Whoa. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Nolani. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice I'm Blippi. Whoa, I know what kind of animal this is. This looks like a really big hedgehog. Ooh, that's a really good guess, but this isn't actually a hedgehog. Really? Right, instead it's an echidna, and they're native to Australia. Wow. Can you tell though? It kind of looks a little bit like Quilma, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Has those really sharp quills. Are those quills just like the porcupine? Another really good guess, but they're not quills. Instead, oh. they're actually spines. They do sort of the same thing though that Quilma's uh, her quills do. Uh -huh. So instead, uh, they are attached to his body and they help uh, if a predator were to come and to bite down, try to make him lunch. Mm -hmm. um, they're just as pokey and it's not really fun to bite oh, into. Cool, mm -hmm. so another great defensive mechanism. Absolutely. Whoa, mm -hmm. and it looks like his nose is really long. It is, so he can use that nose to sniff out bugs underground. And you can see right now he's eating a bug soup. Uh, so uh -huh. that's what we feed him here at the safari park. He's Ooh. also using that really long tongue of his to slurp it up. Ooh, <laughs> yum! Mm -hmm. So is this a mammal? It is a mammal. So this guy is a mammal, but he does a lot of things that other mammals don't really do. Really? Like so what? So instead, other females, not Shaw because he's a boy, uh, would actually lay eggs which is really, really weird, right? Yeah. Most mammals don't do that. Instead, uh, they give birth and then they feed their babies milk. So these guys also feed their babies milk, but they lay a sort of soft leathery egg, sort of oh. like other reptiles, but they're not. Um, and instead that baby hatches and it's born without any of these spines. They're really, really soft. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're known as puggles. 
Puggles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a silly name. It is. That is really cool. I've actually never heard of a mammal that lays eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really There's cool. actually one other one that does. Oh, mm -hmm. what one? The platypus. Whoa, I know what a platypus is. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for teaching me about this animal. No problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we have a couple more animals. Oh, and look, looks like a turtle or a tortoise. Yeah, it definitely has a very hard shell. Oh, and look at these animals. Hello, they look very soft. Hard, soft. <laughs> All right, let's learn about them. Whoa, what kind of animals are these? These are called tamanduas. Oh, tamanduas. That's a really cool name. They kind of look like an anteater. They are an anteater. Oh. They're actually known as lesser anteaters. So we have the giant anteater that's a lot bigger, and then a silky anteater, which is a lot smaller. They're kind of the mid-sized version. Okay, and they're black and white. They kind of remind me of a skunk. Are they stinky? They are really stinky. Oh. They actually can smell a little bit worse than a skunk. Really? They're known <laughs> as the stinkers of the forest in South America. <laughs> That's silly, and what are they eating? They're eating what we call bug soup. So it's one of their favorite things here to eat here at the safari park. Oh, so they like to eat bugs they, and insects? They do. So I have some bugs also. Let's see if oh. they want to eat these bugs. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they do look hungry. Whoa. Oh, and it looks like you have a lot of pieces of wood here, and it looks like they're all torn up. Why is that? That's one of their favorite things to do, is to tear into the wood with their really sharp claws and then they find the bugs and they use their tongue and they stick their tongue down to slurp all those bugs up. Wow, that is really cool. Flippy, they have a really long tongue. Oh, they do? It's about 16 inches long. Whoa, that's probably like that big. That's really long. Isn't that about the same length as a giraffe? It is, giraffes wow. have really long tongues and wow. so do the tamanduas. Let's see if she wants to show you the tongue. Okay. Oh, there it is. Whoa, yeah, so these animals' tongues are about the same length as, as a giraffe's tongue. But yeah. theirs are really sticky, so oh, all of those bugs will stick to their tongue. Oh, yeah, and it looks like they eat downward into the, the ground, holes, wood, while giraffes typically eat upward and try and grab leaves. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, hey! You're really cool. Oh, and it looks like they have some claws or you. They nails. have really, really, uh, their claws and nails. And they use those to tear into things and they also use it for climbing. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So then they can wrap their hands around branches maybe. Yeah. Do they live around the trees? They do, they spend a lot of their time up in the trees oh. and they use their tail as an extra arm or leg to climb. Whoa, that was really cool learning about them. Hey, what are their names? This is Cora, and Cora is the, the mom of this baby, and his name is Tatis. Oh, well, nice to meet you two. <laughs> I'm gonna go learn about the turtle or the tortoise. We'll find out. See you later. <laughs> Whoa. Hi there. Cool. Hey, so who is this? This is Sita, and you're right, this is our tortoise. Oh. And he is specifically an African leopard tortoise. Ooh, African leopard mm -hmm. tortoise. Yeah. Ooh, do they call it that because it kind of looks like a leopard? Exactly. So it sort of looks like the spots of a leopard. But this actually helps him to blend into his uh, environment out in Africa. So oh. out in Africa, there are a lot of dark browns, light browns, lots of dirt that he mm -hmm. can blend into. And from there, he can actually cover his shell with that dirt and sort of look like a dusty rock. Oh, that's <laughs> really cool. Cool camouflage. Absolutely. And rocks are really hard. Is he also really hard? He is. You can yeah. actually touch him and feel really? it if you'd like. Wow, cool. Is he tough? Yeah. Wow, he is very hard. That helps to protect all the other soft parts of his body, too. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Full of defensive mechanisms. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, can he like leave his shell or go into a shell? He can't leave his shell. It's a part of his body. Okay. So, what he does is he'll actually pull all of the soft parts, like his head, 
towards his shell. He'll push his neck in. I'm um, gonna push his legs and his arms towards his body, towards his shell. Um, and from there, he can also use these really sharp scales that he has, just in case a predator did want to try to take a bite out of him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and speaking of taking a bite, looks like he's hungry. Yeah, What's he, he eating? Is. He's eating a salad. It's full of lettuce, carrots, and turnips. Uh -huh. But out in the wild, he's a plant eater, so he is herbivorous. Wow. So he'd be eating grasses and all sorts of different plants. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. So this tortoise is a herbivore. That means he eats plants. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, hello. <laughs> so is he full size? He's not. He's actually going to keep growing. Right now, Sita is 20 years old. Wow. But African leopard tortoises, they can get to be 50 years old. Wow. Really, really old. Uh, so from there, they just keep growing and growing. So Sita is about 30 pounds right now. Oh. He'll probably get around 50. Wow. So mm -hmm. Sita might be 50 pounds someday yeah, and 50 years old. Mm -hmm. 50 years old is very, <laughs> very old. <laughs> wow. Well, it was really cool meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. See you, Sita. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Check it out, look at this bird. Oh, hello. <laughs> what kind of bird is this? This is called a hyacinth macaw. They're found in South America and his name is Lightning. Wow, South America. Whoa, and he is such a pretty blue color. That's one of my two favorite colors. Awesome, yeah, he's blue because it helps him to camouflage up in the tops of the trees. All the tops of the trees provide a lot of shade and so the blue helps to mix in and you can barely even see it. Oh, wow. But you could probably see that bright yellow though, maybe. Yeah, that yellow color that he has is to help to care for his babies. So when a macaw has a baby bird, they put them in a nest, and when the mom and dad come in to feed them, they see the yellow eyes, and that's how they know it's their parents. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Well, he is very pretty, and his beak looks really sharp eating those seeds or nuts that you're giving him? He does have a really big beak. I'm gonna give him a great big nut. We can watch him crack it open. Wow. There's even a type of nut in South America that only the hyacinth macaw can crack open with that big beak. Oh, really? Wow, so it must be a really strong, sharp beak. It really is. Wow, that is really cool. Yeah, and nuts and seeds are healthy. <laughs> so this bird is nice and healthy. Ooh, what's this? That's a target stick. One of the things that we do with our animal ambassadors is training. So we have trained Lightning to touch his nose to the ball of that stick. Oh, really? It's called a target. Oh, really? Target. Whoa, okay, okay. Good job. You wanna try it again after those yummy snacks? That was really good. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Here you go, target. <laughs> Whoa, that was really cool. Wow, and how old does this bird get? Hyacinth macaws can reach about 60 to 80 years old, and Lightning is actually 34 years old already. Whoa, that is really old. Whoa, <laughs> what a cool bird. Well, it's definitely nice to meet you. Wow, this bird is awesome. I love how it's the color blue, and then there's some yellow around its eyes. Wow, and I bet this bird can fly really fast and really high. Wow. Ooh. And it's cool that he eats nice and healthy with the seeds. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Did you see this bird just fly in? Wow. This is such a pretty black color. Ooh, and look at the beak. It's nice and white. Wow. And it just flew in so fast. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to fly like a bird? Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Yeah, check it out! This is a zip line! And zip lines are where you wear a harness, so then you're nice and safe. Then you attach to these metal cables, so then you can go from the top of a hill all the way down to the bottom! 
them and they'll feel like we're a bird. Woohoo! Let's go fly. Whoa! Whoa! All right. Oh, thank you so much. This is Brandon, and Brandon is just making sure that I'm nice and safe. Yeah. To ride the zip line, you have to be at least eight years old. Oh, Brandon, I can't get this. Can you help me? Thank you. Yeah, you have to be at least eight years old, at least 60 pounds, but you could weigh all the way up to 300. All right, am I ready? really felt like I was a bird. <laughs> I'm actually kind of getting kind of tired. <sighs> wow. <sighs> that was great. <sighs> I love animals. Wow, so many different types of animals. Yeah, and birds, so cool how they can fly, right? Yeah, flapping their wings, feeling so free. Wow, hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> okay, all right. This is the story of all those animals that sleep when it's light, but come out at night. Hmm. Oh, when we oh, when we go to bed when we go to bed they they um when we go to bed Whoa <laughs> Whoa <laughs> Whoa Hey who are you? Hi I'm Lauren Nice to meet you, Lauren. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? I am a tour guide here at the safari park. Whoa, a tour guide? Wait, so do we get to go on a tour? We sure do. We are going on a night vision tour. Oh, that's what these are, night vision goggles. Oh, exactly. so we can see the animals? Wow, cool. What kind of animals are we going to see? We are looking for nocturnal animals. Oh, yeah, those are animals that are up and awake during the nighttime. <laughs> I am so excited. Shall we go? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. This is so cool how you can see through these things at night. Wow. Whoa. So this has night vision and infrared? They have both. They help us see even better at night. Wow, cool. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool being able to see at night. Yeah, some animals can see at night without these. <laughs> Whoa, birds! Wow, there's so many of them! Whoa, are those flamingos? This is a large colony of greater flamingos. Wow. Oh, yeah! And they are all the color pink. You know why they're pink? They are pink from the food that they eat. They eat a lot of shrimp-like crustaceans that help turn them the color pink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, and they're all standing on one leg. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them. Wow, this is so cool, being able to see these flamingos at nighttime. Wow. Wow. Look at all the flamingos. Whoa. 
Whoa, now they're all running. Whoa, they're very active at night. Whoa, this is so much fun. Hey, what do you like to do at work the most? What's your most favorite thing for your job? Because it's so cool that you work with animals. I think it's so fun to show people animals they've never seen before in real life. Yeah, especially the animals that they've never seen because, yeah, it's nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, what's your favorite animal that you have here? Thank you for asking. It is the southern white rhinoceros. Whoa. And they're, why do you like them? They are so big and beautiful, and they remind me of puppies. Aww. <laughs> That's so silly. A rhino remind you of puppies? That's cool. Is that your favorite animal in the whole world or just here? In the whole world. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. Oh, whoa, look. Yeah, a rhinoceros. Wow, what kind of rhinoceros is that? This is a southern white rhinoceros, a mother and her baby. Oh, that is so cute. Southern white rhinoceros. Oh, yeah. That's your favorite animal in the world, isn't it? It is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Look at her. They look so big and strong. Are they up at night quite a bit? They do get up, but they feel very comfortable and safe when they're sleeping with their family members. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. Do you know how much they weigh? They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Wow, that is very heavy. They probably have to eat a lot of food every single day then, huh? They have to eat tons of food. Even when the babies are born, they're almost 100 pounds. Oh, wow, that is a big baby. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Rhino. <laughs> wow, check it out. Rhinoceroses are so cool. <laughs> Hey, look, Flippy. Uh huh. There's a giraffe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, oh, and look, there's a baby. Whoa, hello. <laughs> They're so tall. Well, isn't it cool how these animals are up at night while you and I sleep? Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of tired. <sighs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, all those animals are so cool. And it was so cool that some of them were nocturnal, huh? Yeah, that means they're awake at night. Yeah, when you and I sleep, they're awake. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, hey, why didn't I read you another story? <laughs> oh, I love reading. <laughs> okay. A rumble in a tummy, a common animal mood. <laughs> to grow big and strong, <sighs> they need good food. <laughs> so open wide. <gasps> so open wide. <sighs> Hope you're. So open wide, I hope you're, I hope you're hungry. Whoa, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Eileen, and oh. I'm a wildlife care specialist. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I'm Blippi, and what are you doing? I am getting ready to make some bottles so we can feed some baby animals. Whoa, that sounds like fun. Can I help? That would be great, Blippi. Okay. If you want to make this first bottle for the spring box. Ooh, sure. So what I need you to do is to measure out 150 mils. Okay. And then put in the bottle. Oh, here we go. 150 in spring box. I'm so excited to see what kind of animal that is. Okay, first, we need to measure it out. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh, a little too much. Pour some out. There we go. That's exactly 150. That's so awesome. I'm going to put it right in here. Ooh, this looks like it's going to be a small animal. Yeah, because this bottle is really small. It is. It's a very small amount in there. Okay, here you go. 
Thank you, Blippi. All Let's right. Just put the nipple on. Okay, perfect. And what about this big bottle? <laughs> that, that's for a much bigger animal. And so this formula, we this bottle, we're going to make from scratch right wow. now. All right. How do we do it? So what you're going to do is you're going to put some some water in the container, about two thousand milliliters or two liter. Okay. So looks like we have to fill it all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of water. I bet this animal is really big. Whoa, about halfway there. <laughs> so excited to see what animal this is. Okay, it's getting really heavy. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, we have the water. And we're gonna mix it in this container. So you wanna pour the powder in there. Oh, the powder. Okay, so we're gonna mix the powder with the water. All right, do I pour all of this powder in there? The whole thing, yes. Okay, here it's we go. It's a big animal. All right, there we go. And then, okay, the powder's in there. Now we need to pour the water. Whoa, <laughs> spilt a little bit. That's okay. All right, there we go. All right, now do I shake it up? Shake it as hard as you can, Flippy. You all right. Get a really good mix. Here we go. All right. That was great. Perfect. Now, do we put it in the bottle? Yes. You might need to use this, though. It's a lot easier to pour. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. That smells really good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah. Here we go. All right. All right. Here you go. <laughs> and then we warm them up. Oh, and after they're warm, then do we get to feed the animals? And then we get to feed the animals. But <laughs> just today, I actually have a few bottles that are already warmed up, so we can go ahead and feed them right now. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. Whoa, check it out. Whoa. <laughs> so are these the small animals? They are. Wow. It's a little bit of a variety. This yeah. is a springbok. This oh. is a bontibok. Oh, hey, springbok. This spring is a Nile lechwe. Okay, so it seems like there's a few different kinds there. Yes. A springbok, a monty way? A, a, a bontibok. Oh, a bontibok. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. And this is our older, oldest springbok. She is um, about six weeks old. Wow, and she looks so hungry. Yeah, we did such a great job with those bottles. Oh, Whoa. let me hey. get the right bottle here. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, and do you see that one? Yeah, it has horns on its head. Whoa, is that right? That, yes. Those are horns? Those are horns, and they're just growing. Oh. And the female bontebuck has horns just like the males. But in the... Oh, wow, and do they like to eat those leaves? They love to eat the leaves. We call it browse, and this is acacia browse. Oh, hey! Now, really, when springboks are out in the wild, uh -huh. they eat grass and they eat uh, plants. Whoa. But they don't really eat trees. The oh. bontebok loves the trees, too. <laughs> okay. Wow, they look so hungry. But the one thing they all <laughs> have is in common is they're from Africa. Oh, they're from Different Africa. Parts. And can they, like, run fast or smell good or like jump high or anything like that? Springbok got their name because they jump very high. They, they say they can jump as high as 11 feet. They spring up in the air. Whoa! They have a very weird posture to it too. So when they're running away from someone that might be chasing them, uh -huh. they look bigger. Wow. So they spring up in the air and they also have this really strange flap of skin back here oh. that when they're very excited, it will open up. Wow. And <laughs> We're not sure exactly what all the purposes are, but it might be just to attract the other the other animals. So oh, wow. it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, what a really cool animal. That was really fun. And they ate a lot of the treats that we made them from the small bottles. That's but right. Didn't we make big bottles too? We did make a big <gasps> bottle. Do you want to go with me to feed something bigger? Yeah, I'd love to see a big animal. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Whoa! 
So those Springboks were the one that drank from that small bottle. I'm so curious what animal is gonna drink from this big bottle. That's gonna be our friend Arthur. Do you wanna give me a hand calling Arthur? Yeah! That's great. All right, I'm very excited so, to see what animal Arthur is. So all you need to do is start squeezing that. Okay. He's gonna come running. That's a Good silly sound. All right. Arthur, where are you? <laughs> oh, oh, here he comes. Oh, I know what boy. kind of animal Arthur is. Whoa. All right, I'll set this down now. Yeah, Arthur looks like a rhinoceros. That's right, Flippy. He's a southern white rhino. Ooh, a southern white rhino. Whoa. Hey, Arthur. Do you hear that? He must really love the bottle that we made him. That sounds so yummy. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, and he looks a lot smaller than an adult massive rhino. Is he a baby? He is a baby. He's a little bit over a year. So he's going to be getting bottles for a little while longer, a few months. Okay. It's going to take him a while to get as big as a big rhino. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he likes some hay. Whoa. <laughs> Arthur is so cool. And that was really cool being able to help feed Arthur. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired though. <laughs> wow, rhinoceros is so cool. Whoa. <sighs> 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 Wow, what a great morning this is. <laughs> wow, and what a great night that was. I slept so great. Yeah, now I'm very well rested. Whoa, and wasn't that fun at the Roaring Store? Yeah, we learned so much about animals. <laughs> I love animals. Yeah, big animals, small animals. Yeah, I love big and small animals. It's so cool how some animals are awake at nighttime. Huh, yeah. While I like to sleep at nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa! There it is again! Wow, that sounds like an animal for sure. You know what kind of animal that is? Hmm. Sounds like a kitty cat. <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> but it definitely sounds bigger than a kitty cat. There it is again. Whoa. Okay, it's a cat, but it's really big. It has a big mane around its head. You know what animal I'm talking about? Yeah, we're hearing a lion. <laughs> Do you want to act like a lion with me? <laughs> oh, there it is again! Yeah! Wow, this was so much fun. And weren't those stories really good? <laughs> yeah! All right, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B L I. P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and today I'm at Chocolat in Leavenworth, Washington. And today, since you and I ate our vegetables, we're gonna make some chocolate and caramel. I am so excited. Let's go. Hey, who are you? Hey, Puppy. My name's Andrew. Oh. Welcome to Chocolat. Nice to meet you. What do you have here? Uh, we have all sorts of truffles and bonbons, all handmade right here on site. Wow. They look so tasty. Look at that. Oh, I just want to eat them all up. Whoa. What do you say, Puppy? Do you want to make some chocolates today? Yeah. Whoa! All of these candies look so yummy! 
Hey, and did you notice how all of these have different shapes? Yeah, let's check them out. Whoa, do you see this one? What shape is that? Yeah, look at it closer. Yeah, that is a square. <laughs> yeah, and it's really cool how all of these have different fillings on the inside. Ooh, look at this swirl. Wow, yeah. What shape is this? Yeah, it's a circle. Perfect, good job. Ooh, wow, the sign of love. <laughs> oh, so cute. What shape is this? Yeah, it's a heart. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and these are really cool looking. Wow. Yeah, it's not a normal shape. This is a unique shape. Yeah, and this thing, yeah, this thing is unique to every single one. Yeah, this is a leaf. Yeah, every leaf has different veins and different structures, and every single one looks a little bit different from each other. Whoa, look at these. These even have little pieces of gold on them. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what shape is this? Yeah, it's another leaf. <laughs> it's from a different type of tree, I'm sure. <laughs> well, they all look so yummy, but I can't eat them yet. We have some more learning to do. Yeah! Whoa, check it out! Here is the kitchen! Yeah, I am so excited to make some chocolate! Okay, first thing I need to do is put on an apron. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is worn. Make sure that your clothes do not get dirty and sticky. <laughs> How do I look? Yeah, I look ready. <laughs> Whoa, not ready yet because we need to wash our hands. All right, it is very important to wash your hands if you're going to work with food, make candy. Yeah, perfect. You have to scrub them, get underneath the nails, Okay, now we get to rinse it off. All that soap. Oh, yeah. You're nice and clean. Perfect. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh. Hey, look at who it is. Who are you? Hi, I'm Carissa. Oh, nice to meet you. What are you doing right here? Well, today we'll be we're making some caramels. Ooh, caramel? I love caramel. Have you ever had caramel before? Will you show us? Sure thing. Let's go ahead and make some. Pretty good. All right. Let's 
turn the caramel. And then let's do a cross cut. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. Look. Whoa, do you see all the miniature squares in it? That is a lot of caramel. And now, one of my favorite parts. We get to put chocolate on them. <laughs> Whoa, I love chocolate and I love caramel. So what we're going to do is take these caramel pieces and dip them in chocolate and then sprinkle some sea salt on top. Yum! <laughs> okay, let's set that down right there. Let's take the fork. Let's grab this piece. First, you need to dip the fork in the chocolate. Yeah, there we go. And we have a little chocolate right there. Put the caramel, dip it in, and then you start tapping. Wow, that looks so good. All right, a little bit more. Okay, you don't want too much chocolate on that or else it'll be a goopy mess. So, put it down just like that. Oh, not the best, but not too bad for my first one. And then let's sprinkle some salt right on top. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. That was fun. So excited to try these later. Wow, how did those look? I think they look yummy. to sprinkle on top, put it on the inside, and then when it cools, we're going to eat them. <laughs> okay, first let's uh, make a healthy one, okay? So how about let's take some of these almonds. Okay, and then we have some cherries right here. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> it's like decorating, but decorating with food. And then... How about some pistachios? Yeah, pistachios is another type of nut. Yeah, that one looks like a yummy and pretty healthy chocolate bar <laughs> with nuts and fruit. <laughs> All right, okay, how about another one? This one, let's, uh, yeah, I think we should have some marshmallows. I love marshmallows. <laughs> okay, now we can use some peanut butter chips and sprinkle them on top. Yum, this is going to be so yummy. <laughs> All right, and then let's use a little bit of pretzels. Wow, this is so much fun. All right, there we go. One more. Perfect. And then let's do a couple banana chips. Have you ever had a banana before? Yeah, banana is a type of fruit. Yeah, they're pretty yummy. And banana chips are really yummy too. All right, that one looks good. So let's do the last one. And let's have some fun and put some colorful sprinkles on it. All right, here we go. Okay, now 
now we're gonna need to put it in the fridge to cool down. There we go. <laughs> yeah! Wow, that was so much fun decorating those chocolate bars with you. <laughs> well, now we need to wait some time to let the chocolate cool. Hmm. What do we do? Okay, I think that's enough time, so let's go get the chocolate bars. Whoa! Look at them! Wow! Okay, now let me knock them out. Alright, so here we go! Whoa, look at them! They're perfect! Alright, here is the first one. Wow! It looks so yummy! And here is the second one. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh no! I broke it! <laughs> That's okay. It's still gonna taste just as good. I am so excited to eat these. <laughs> yeah! Wow! Check it out. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa, check out this room. Looks like they have a lot of boxes in here with some ribbons, ooh, a bunch of stickers. Wow. Oh, hey, look at who it is. Hey, who are you two? I'm Tilly. I'm Molly. Oh, nice to meet you two. What are you two doing? We're boxing up some chocolates. Oh, can I see? Sure. <laughs> Did you see how they put the rest of the chocolates in the base? And now they're putting the tops on. Check it out. And do you see what they're doing now? Yeah, now that the boxes are fully enclosed, now they're tying ribbons all around it to make it look pretty. <laughs> they did such a great job boxing up this box of chocolates. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so yummy. But hey, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. Now it's time to eat some chocolates. <laughs> oh, hey, it's me, Flippy. And look at where I'm at. Yeah, I am at Valley Auto in Tonino, Washington. This is where they work on vehicles. Whoa, do you see that truck up there? Whoa, it's so high up there, that's crazy. Whoa, so many cool machines in here, come on. Whoa, look at this big truck. Do you see how it's on the ground? Yeah, they're on the ground, but then they use these big things called lifts to go underneath and lift it up to the sky. So then the mechanics can work underneath the truck and car, so then they don't have to bend down or be uncomfortable. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Whoa, this is so heavy. Wow, this is a battery. Yeah, most vehicles have batteries, so then it helps them turn on. Yeah, land also, turn on the radio. And things like that. Yeah, batteries have electricity stored inside. Ooh, look at these. These are hose clamps. Whoa, there's a small one. And here is a big one. 
these are what goes around hoses and clamps them nice and tight. Hey, what shape are these? Yeah, these are circles. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's put those back. Let's keep exploring. Whoa, look at all of these. Do you see these? Wow, this right here, yeah, is a nut, washer, and a bolt. This is what you use to tighten things. Yeah, nice and close together. Like say if there is a piece of metal right here and another piece of metal, you could tighten it nice and tight so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, let's put that back. Uh, <laughs> okay, woo, so cool. Whoa, this is a massive engine. That looks so powerful. Wow, so cool. Well, hey, let's see. Oh, look at this. Remember earlier how I said that the lift lifts up the truck so the mechanic can stand up nice and tall? Well, sometimes you might not have a lift and you need to get really low on the ground and work on the vehicle from the ground. Whoa, hey, whoa, whee, <laughs> look at me go. I'm a mechanic, whee, yeah, you can slide because it has wheels. Okay, all right, enough playing around. Let's get to work. Oh, hey, it's someone else. Who are you? Colton. Oh, nice to meet you, Colton. Well, what are you doing over there? Uh, getting ready to weld. Oh, weld? That's really cool. Hey, do you know what welding is? Yeah, welding's where you take two pieces of metal and apply some electricity, heat, some gas, and it becomes so hot, they come, become connected. Yeah, it's kind of like glue, but for metal. <laughs> well, Colt, will you show us how to do it? Yep, I just need to lift up the truck. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Oh, do you see what they're doing? Yeah, there's, they're using those metal posts to go under the truck, so then they can work underneath it safely so it doesn't fall on them. Okay, let's watch them weld. Here, check it out. <laughs> See these? Yeah, these are his gloves. It keeps his hands protected while he's welding. And this looks like his helmet. Yeah, and it has this really dark shade right here. So then he can look at what he's doing because it's too bright to look at without this. You definitely never want to look at what you're doing welding unless you have this. So if you ever see someone welding, do not look at that light, okay? Okay. Oh, here you go. did such a great job welding. Hey, Colton, thank you so much for showing us how to weld. Yep, no problem. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep exploring. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. This is 
been so much fun. Did you see when he was welding? It looked like fireworks. Psh, psh. Whoa! Yeah, that was awesome. Ooh, look at this yellow toolbox. Whoa, I think we should open it up and see what tools are inside. Whoa! Whoa! Look at these socket sets. Wow! That is so nicely organized. Whoa! Remember earlier? Yeah, we were talking about those nuts. Yeah, these sockets go over the nuts. And then you use a lever to then turn it. And then you can get it nice and tight. Yeah, that is really cool. Ooh, let's see what else is in here. I love tools. They're so much fun. Whoa, look! Yeah, a wrench. Yeah, you can also use these to tighten nuts. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, put it away. Ooh, what else is in here? Whoa, yeah, a crescent wrench. Whoa, we must have a customer. Someone else will get that. But hey, check it out, a crescent wrench. <laughs> Looks like a mouth. Hello! Hello! <laughs> That's silly. Okay. Well, oh, look at this! You know what this is? Yeah, it kind of looks like a hammer, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's actually a rubber mallet. Watch this. <laughs> yeah! You can hit things with it. Yeah! You, uh, like a tire. Watch this. I don't know what you would do that for, but it's fun. Whoa, yeah, a vice right here. Yeah, you can put things in here. Turn this and see it closing. Yeah, keeps things held right here. So then you can work on it. Whoa, look. Yeah, looks like a fan. It looks like a fan. Yeah, this looks like a fan that goes in front of the radiator. Wow, I sure do love mechanic shops and tools. Hey, I think this is the perfect time for the tool song. Yeah! When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang clang A hammer hits a nail going bang 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 A drill is making holes going zzz When you're working with tools you hear all kinds of things When you're working with tools Working with tools You hear all kinds of things When you're working with tools Working with tools You hear all kinds of things you hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it looks like we have some big bolts. Whoa, and we have some big nuts. Whoa, hey, what's this doing here? Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a steering wheel. 10 and two. 
driving a car is so much fun! You'll get there! And you need to be very safe and always wear your seatbelt. But hey, in order to drive your car, you need to maintain your vehicle! Yeah! And that is why we're at the mechanic shop. <laughs> but hey, check these out! Whoa, this is the cylinder head! Whoa, there's so many parts to an engine, and this is just one of them. Oh, and over here, this is the exhaust manifold. Whoa. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of parts to an engine, but this is where the engine is, and then the exhaust goes through all these pipes to the back of the vehicle. Yeah, and you've probably seen exhaust pipes before. Yeah. Well, hey, I have one last thing to show you right over here. The best part about mechanic shops is cleaning up at the end of the day, and all your hard work pays off. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about tools with you today, and welding, and what it's like to be in a shop. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I -I. Flippy! Good job! Alright, see you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> hey, hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at Medieval Times in Orlando, Florida! Whoa! And look at it! It's a giant castle! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! We are at medieval times. That was a really long time ago, like all the way in the 11th century. Whoa! <laughs> Did you know back in medieval times, people didn't drive in cars? Ring, 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 ring. No, instead they rode horses. <laughs> so silly. Hey, have you ever wondered what it was like in medieval times? Yeah, me too. Well, today, you and I get to go in the Orlando Castle and learn all about it. Yeah. Maybe we can even see a real life knight. That would be so cool. <laughs> Come on, let's find out. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life horse. Hello, Mr. Horse. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's so sweet. Today, we're here at the village stable. Yeah, a stable is where the horses get to eat yummy food. <laughs> and take naps. <laughs> yeah, and get all ready and geared up for the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They neigh. <laughs> neigh. <laughs> neigh. Hey, will you neigh like a horse with me? <laughs> okay, awesome. Here we go. Neigh! 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 <laughs> so silly. Well, this is a really nice horse, but how about you and I go help get the horses all geared up for the tournament? Come on, let's go! Whoa! Look at it! This table has all the gear that we're going to need to get the horses all ready for the tournament. Yeah, and look at this. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a brush to help get all the dust and the dirt out of the horse's back. Yeah, <laughs> this is a body brush, so it's for the body of the horse. Whoa, and look at these ones right here. Hey, spiky. <laughs> yeah, these are brushes for the horse's mane and tail. Yeah, they have longer bristles so that they can get through the hair, kind of like the hair on your head. Ooh, ooh, ee. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and look at this. This is everything we need to put on the horse. We have the saddle pad. Yeah, this saddle pad is really soft and squishy. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and this goes on the horse first to make sure that the saddle is super comfy. Yeah. Whoa, and look at it. This is a really big saddle. The saddle can whoo, be kind of heavy, and it goes on the back of the horse 
so that the knights can ride all around. <laughs> and it buckles in, so it's kind of like a belt for the horse. Woo! <laughs> well, we'll just clip that in, get on top, and ride the horse super fast. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and this, this is the last thing that we need to put on top of the horse. This is a comparison. Yeah, and this comparison is the color green and brown. Yeah, good job. Yeah, the comparison helps the knight tell one horse and knight from another horse and knight. So they don't all look the same in their metal armor and the white horses. Yeah, so this comparison, this will go over the saddle last. Well, that's everything we need. Now it's time to get ready to get the horse ready for the tournament. Okay, first, let's grab a brush. Come on. Oh, hello. Hey, look, this is a really beautiful horse. Hello, his name is Humo. Hi, Humo. <laughs> first, let's brush Humo's fur, his hair. <laughs> Horses don't have fur. So silly. <laughs> yeah. Brush, brush, brush. All the dust. Brush off all the dust. <laughs> yeah. And now that we've cleaned Humo and got all the dust and dirt out of his back, we can put on the saddle pad, the saddle, and the comparison. Let's go. We helped Humo get all dressed up for the tournament. And look, now he's the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was so much fun helping Humo get all geared up. But now I think it's time for you and me to get all dressed up for the tournament ourselves. <laughs> OK, we're about to go, but I think Humo's done a really good job being a horse. And he's had all of his yummy vegetables and fruit for dinner. So we're going to give him a sugar cube. <laughs> Hello. Good job, Humo. Woo, <laughs> that tickles. Woo, <laughs> Humo, you're such a good horsey. Well, now it's time to go get dressed up ourselves. Come on. Hey, it's me, Knight Flippy. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm not a real knight, but today you and I get to learn about what it was like to be a knight a thousand years ago. Whoa, that was a really long time ago. Have you ever wondered what it was like to be a knight? Hmm, well, you had to be brave and you had to ride horses. Nay, 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 <laughs> so silly. And you had to be strong and kind. Whoa, on second thought, it actually is pretty tricky being a real knight. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at it, a real knight. And now it's time to knight Sir Blippi. I am so excited because you and I don't only get to learn about knights, but I get to become a knight. But first, I need to complete three knights challenges. Whoa, and look at this. This is the first knights challenge. It's called the Big Rings Challenge. <laughs> yeah. So the way to win the Big Rings Challenge is to take a lance, which is like a really long stick, and to put it through two rings in a row. One here and one way down there. <laughs> if you only get one, you gotta do it again until you get both to complete the Knight's Challenge. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. But first, I need to get some Knight's gear. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It's a real life Knight's Lance. Whoa. And this is really heavy. This is what I'm gonna use to try to complete the Big Rings Challenge. Hmm, but what's a knight without its trusty steed? And hey, look, this is my trusty horse, Brownie. Hey, hello, Brownie, hello. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I have my lance and I have Brownie, so we're all ready to do the Knight's Challenge. Let's go. Hey. 
Okay, here we go. Ready, Brownie? Nay! <laughs> okay, I'm ready to Night's Challenge! <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh! I only got one ring! That means that Brownie and I are gonna have to try the Knight's Challenge one more time! Nay! Brownie thinks so too. Okay, let's go! <laughs> okay, let's try this again! I think I can do it! Let's go! Whoa, that was really hard. I'm getting tired after that night's challenge. But look, we got both of the rings. <laughs> Thanks, Brownie, for helping me out. Hey, <laughs> that was so much fun. And now it's time to move on to the second night's challenge. Let's go find out. Come on. Whoa, Brownie. <laughs> yeah, we completed the first night's challenge. We're really close to becoming a knight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second night's challenge is even harder, needing agility and strength and really good horse riding skills. <laughs> yeah, it's called the flag toss. It's when me and another knight will toss a flag back and forth three times. And if you catch it all three times, then you complete the challenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So my friend, Sir David, is gonna help me out. Okay. Ready, Sir David? Ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We caught the flag three times. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks, Brownie. Nay! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all we have left is the third challenge. And it's a really, really tricky one. It's called the Knight's Dress Up Challenge. I have to get all geared up with all the night clothes in under 10 seconds. Whoa, I don't think I'm gonna need your help on this one, Brownie. Bye-bye, I'll see you later at the stables. Nay! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Put the time on the clock. Here we go! Whoa, this armor is so cool. Yeah, we did it! We did all three of the Knight's Challenges, and now I get to be Knight Blippi! Woohoo! I'm so excited that I think you and I should do a victory dance. Okay, here we go. Yeah! That was so awesome! Now I get to be a knight. <laughs> Not so fast, Blippi. Oh, hey, Sir David! There's still two more challenges left. Huh, two more challenges? but we already completed three. I guess two more won't be so hard. So what are the next two challenges? Well, first you have to learn the Knight's Code. Whoa, do you know what the Knight's Code is? Me neither. Uh, Sir David, what's the Knight's Code? A Knight is sworn to valor. Okay, so we need to be really brave. His heart knows only virtue. Okay, so that means hmm, we'll be really kind. His blade defends the helpless and his might upholds the weak. Hmm. That means you should always help others who need some help. And his words speak only truth. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Those are easy. We can do that. What's the other challenge? Well, the other challenge is the javelin toss. Whoa, that sounds like it's gonna be really, really hard. But hey, I got all my knight's armor and I think we can do it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Woo. I think I'm all ready to go. Come on. Wow, I can't believe we get to meet the queen and start the knighting ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I, Doña Maria Isabella, queen of this castle and ruler of this realm, of the Blippi, once, twice, and thrice as knight of the realm. <laughs> yeah! 
We did it! <laughs> Good job! Thanks for helping me complete all of the knight's challenges. They were really tricky, but we did a really good job. <laughs> it was so much fun learning all about knights from the 11th century, which was really, really long ago. And it was nice that we learned that knights aren't only strong, but they're kind and they like to help others. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi! Good job! <laughs> well, I guess it's Sir Blippi now. <laughs> so silly. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye! Ah, yeah, today we're at Leavenworth Ski Hill in Leavenworth, Washington! <laughs> it is a winter wonderland today, and you and I are gonna have some fun in the snow. Let's go! Whoa! That was so much fun! Whoa! Did you see what I just did? Yeah, I rode this inner tube down that hill! But that hill wasn't that big. But hey, here we have a bigger hill, and we have a machine to tow you up to the hill. So then, you don't have to walk all the way up there. I'll show you that soon. But first, this is an inner tube. Whoa! This inner tube has a red cover on it. Whoa, it protects the inner tube. The actual inner tube is black and rubber on the inside. See? And then there's an inner tube leash. And this ring is what the hook hooks onto. That then it tows you up to the top of the hill. Whoa! -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Let's go check it out. Okay, check it out. So this machine, yeah, there's cables there, there's gears. Check out the gears. Whoa, do you see those gears? It's spinning around. And that is what is providing all its strength and power for these hooks right there to tow the tube and the person to the top of the hill. All right, let's hook one up and then we'll watch the inner tube go. Whoa! All right, I have a game to play. Let's count how many tubes we see, all right? One, two, three, four tubes. All righty, good job. We just counted to four together. Now, I have another game. This one's pretty simple. What shape is this inner tube? Hmm, it's not a square. Is it a triangle? No, it's the same shape as a tire. Yeah, it's a circle. Whoa! Good job. <laughs> hey, check it out. Look at what this is. This is a black rubber mat. It's really heavy. Ugh. And this is a gray carpet. Yeah, just like maybe carpet that you might have at home. Yeah, these mats and carpets are placed on the inner tube path to help slow you down. Because if not, maybe you'd go too fast and go off a big jump. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, here I go! Whoa!
you see how fast I went? That was awesome! <laughs> Oh, check it out! What a cool machine this is! The great thing about ski hills are they have really cool machines to maintain the land! Whoa, check it out! Wow! Do you see this? Yeah, this is a track! Yeah, this vehicle has tracks! Interesting! Most vehicles have wheels and tires. But not this one, this one has tracks, so then it can dig into the snow, and then it won't slip and slide. <laughs> Let's check it out. Woo! Oh, that's backwards. Oh, check it out! Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm riding a bike! Isn't this weird? I'm riding a bike on snow? Yeah, normally you ride a bike on concrete and dirt and asphalt, but check this out. Do you see this bike's tires? Yeah, they're so big and wide! Whoa! That is way wider than a normal bike tire. Yeah, these tires are called fat tires. So then they can grip more snow. So then you don't slip and slide. Wow, this bike has some good tread. Let's roll. This is snow, Ooh, and it's really cold. Now that it's so cold outside, put on your hats and gloves, and sip some nice warm cocoa from a mug. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> now that it's snowing outside, everyone's having fun. Let's take the snowboard out for
Oh, this has been so much fun playing in the snow with you today. Wow, I sure do love the seasons. Yep, and wintertime is such a great time of the year. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I have a really cool fire truck here. <laughs> it looks just like a real life fire truck with a hose and horns, honk, 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 <laughs> and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real life firefighter. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life firefighter pole. Woo. <laughs> hey, let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey, you could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Whew. And they plan all types of things so that other people can build them. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I want to be that too. <laughs> I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs? Oh, that would be so exciting and fun. And then you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah! Come on, let's go. I'll see you there. We made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I am so excited to learn all about jobs. Let's go. Woohoo! Whoa, this is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Whoa. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Ooh, chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <gasps> it's so tasty. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. Mm -mm. Okay, get that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm. So first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So you have to stretch it and sometimes spin it, whoa, <laughs> like this. And that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look, it's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay, put the pizza dough down. And now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Oh, uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we'll put on some tomato sauce. <gasps> oh, my favorite cheese. 
<laughs> I love pizza with lots of cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, <laughs> so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa. <laughs> and they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions. Ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious and all done. Yeah. <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now it's my favorite part. <laughs> we get to eat the pizza. <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Ah, <laughs> thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef and making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look over here. Whoa, there are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats and we have, hmm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look, we have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, we have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah, an MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling. <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones to make sure they're not broken. And this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its leg. So we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dogs. Oh, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Oh, oh, <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we wanna do is we wanna put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't wanna take it off until he's all better. <laughs> He is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a fire truck. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, fire trucks are so cool. And look at this. It has really big wheels and tires. Whoa. <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. <laughs> I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow. It is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here. 
Yeah. This right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah. When a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. And that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. <laughs> Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose. But this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. <laughs> it's really, really, really powerful to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, come on. Whoa, look at this. This is the fire pole. Whoa. The fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this? Yeah, this is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, did you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet and that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh, whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah, this is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different uh, adjustment valves. And look, it's really, really big so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah. Wow, maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. We can help save people. But to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey, do you know what being brave means? Yeah. When you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway, because you're gonna help help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really wanna do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah. Being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Do you see it? This right here is a skeleton. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many bones. Yeah. Bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah. These are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah. Helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh. Yeah. It's right under your skin. Bones are really important. And it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. Ooh. Look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> this will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa. This right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet. <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah. You can see all the different bones inside your hand. Whoa, and this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> wow, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look
look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo. Hey, <laughs> whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them, whoa. <laughs> Hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this over here. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa. That means it's time for the Curiosity Corner where you and I get to learn all of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints. Ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we wanna make a really cool orange because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red, and a little bit of water, and then you can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red, and little bits of yellow, and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Oops, looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious, and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. <laughs> this fire truck and recycling truck, whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye.